good morning everybody it's my birthday today i have turned 25 on the 25th of june shane has brought in a wonderful sash for me with my 25th birthday on it i got ready this morning really really quickly and now i am ready to go into the living room because shane has been beavering away putting up some decorations so let's go in and see what he has prepared i did want to say beforehand i'm so incredibly excited for today i love birthdays i love my own i love other people's i think it's such a wonderful wonderful opportunity to really make people feel special and also for my own birthday i really like doing something a little bit more unique making the birthday a bit more uh, memorable and just so that you can recall later on in life what you did on specific birthdays because I can do that now and um, relate different activities to different birthdays so I think that's just a really fun way to spend the day so I'm going to stop rambling let's head on into the living room and have a look okay let's oh, put on the sash I don't know why it took me so long to figure out how to put it on. I'm going to blame it on the fact that it's relatively early and I haven't had any coffee today. Oh! Happy such a wonderful cake oh i love it let me show you more detail oh this looks so so wonderful shane and look at the beautiful cake with the beautiful little yeah, bee i know it's gorgeous and you spent such a long time doing these decorations thank you so much oh they're beautiful and then we have a little birthday set up here oh it's all so beautiful a couple of balloons here i cannot get over this it looks so good i'm gonna take some pictures of this now i think they're a little bit wonky that's fine shall we start with the cards do cards first. I can't just open it, you've been dying to. No, no, I'll do cards because they're the most special. Yeah, that's what you want. Smaller than I thought. Oh, I like the. Uh, That's fair. Uh, so nice. <gasps> it is much smaller. And although it's a season of peace, the season's actually quite important because it always reminds me of birthdays coming in the Yeah, true. 
true. It's always the perfect day on your birthday. It is nice. What do you think? Guys, I am having a, such an incredible, incredible birthday. The hair has gone up because we're about to enjoy some coffee and cake. Very much needed. I thought I would quickly show you what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing this gorgeous Rixo dress, which I had planned to wear in all honesty six months in advance. As soon as I saw this gorgeous mermaid dress, I just knew that it had to be my birthday dress and I'm just wearing it with this cropped linen Zara shirt um, on top because it's looking very dreary, windy and it's raining currently. I've also got my slippers on, which kind of do match. I love that um, and I've also worn my little Monica Vinader pendant which my parents got me for my birthday with my gorgeous Monica Vinader earrings and it's just turning out to be such a special day uh, I've had in all seriousness, the best birthday morning and I feel so appreciative and lucky to have so many great people in my life. So before I start tearing up, I'm going to go and have some birthday cake. Also, I have got to show you my birthday nails. I've got just yin yangs on the index and middle fingers and alternating. Let me show you the other hand pink and green I think this is such a cute combo it's so fun I've also got to mention these are the only gifts that I haven't um, opened because they are from me to me <laughs> gifts and I just wanted to point out how incredible Space NK packaging is so this is a free gift packaging that they offer not only do you get this beautiful magnetic box how satisfying is this but also if I open this up so there's a little card in there which I wrote just a happy birthday message to myself <laughs> because why not so I've pried the gift out from um, this protective packaging look how beautifully it's wrapped it's gorgeous and as I say this gift service is entirely free so go with Space MK I'm incredibly incredibly impressed with this so we're cutting it into the cake, which I'm going to take the candle out. Do you have a preference? I'm gonna this is your slice, so cut yourself that I'm going to have the B, you know, oh, you... with the lovely daisies. Revealing where the icing got uh, taken off by the protective oh, plastic. I'm sorry. <laughs> You've okay. outed us. Well, you out outed me. i you. That's fine, though. I'm... Yeah, this is a big... This one person doesn't cut the ribbon off first. Because I tried to look for... You're smushing it instead. You're smushing the cake. It's so lovely. I don't want to remove the ribbon. It's too beautiful. But let's remove it since I'm getting... There we go. Just remove a bit of that icing. Place it on top. Yes, this is quite a big slice, but it's my birthday. And um, I like cake. You do like cake. I have just received a beautiful, beautiful flower delivery and a box of chocolates too. These were hand delivered by the florist and they're from my friend. These are absolutely stunning. 
I have also had to deploy my cafetiere because I have run out of vases at this point. I'm not complaining though. This is getting some very, very good use because I have not been drinking cafetiere coffee in a while. So I'm glad to finally be putting it to work. They look so beautiful. They were beautifully arranged. I tried to keep the arrangement as close to the original as I could. And oh, they just look absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness. We're watching the Friends reunion, of course. I'm so excited for this. Stop it. Stop it as if this day wasn't emotional enough. Good afternoon, guys. So we are now heading to the first activity of the day. We're heading to the Malmaison Hotel, which has recently opened in New York this month, earlier this month. And I saw the rooftop bar that they had there. Looks incredible. Not really the weather for rooftop bars. However, which is going to hope for the best. And even if the um, rooftop open area isn't open, uh, I'm certain that we can still sit inside and... Oh, sorry, there's a car coming. And enjoy um, the lovely views of York. But beforehand, I thought, I was kind of looking at the hotel because I really wanted to go to the rooftop bar and I wanted to see if there's anything else that we could do at the hotel. And they have a spa there. Sorry, I'm conscious that when the cars come by, it gets a bit loud. We're going to go to the spa and get some pedicures. Out there. I know, that looks so lovely. We went to um, the place on the left to eat and they took us to a little conservatory and it just doesn't look as nice as the outside area um, and I'm dressed very very summery which you can't tell because I've buttoned up my shirt for maximum warmth um, absolutely everybody is wearing a raincoat and is appropriately dressed but at least I have an umbrella and yes the sunnies did have to come out because it's not a very sunny day and they match my outfit so perfectly um, so I'll catch up with you once we're there. Have I matured vlogging in public so brazenly? I don't know because you did pretty well in New York but you <laughs> regressed you? after that. Yeah, I was less likely to run into someone I knew in New York so I felt a little bit more confident.
people don't want to be on Love Island. <laughs> I'm thoroughly enjoying that. So the cocktails were great. The food was good. Not the best Asian food I've tasted, but it was good. And the views. It wasn't the very views were good. So I'm back home now and whilst I was out, look what has arrived. We've got more flower deliveries. There were two over here. Everyone has received the memo that I love my flowers. And if you heard that, that was the number two just falling out. And we have more peonies. Oh, these are such, such beautiful bouquets. All of them have been. These are absolutely delightful. I've been sorting these out and we've just been listening to music whilst I've been doing so. I have run out of vases. I have taken this vase from a, a bunch of dry flowers which I received for my birthday last year. So those dry flowers will be fine without a vase for now. And then I've also deployed a plant pot <laughs> to fit these flowers into. So I thought I'd open up one of the uh, gifts from Say Sun K that I got for myself and it's this Diptyque fragrance which I think is just their pretty much signature fragrance and it comes in packaging like this and oh, I'm really struggling here but essentially it's a piece of string that you measure and cut off to make a bracelet like this and comes with a little gold detailing and it smells delicious and I'm actually strangely a very big fan of this I thought it would be kind of like a gift that I've had my eye on for a while and I never thought I'd get it for myself because it's a bit too indulgent for like a piece of string however it's very very nice and I'm glad that I got it it's just um just a little something fun everyone has been so incredibly generous i have got so many flowers here i'm seriously ready to open a florist anytime soon and it's just brightened up my day so so much oh look at this it's just such a beautiful beautiful scene i'm going to get back to watching the friends reunion before i start crying because I feel so, so incredibly lucky. Guys, it's time for more friends, more birthday cake, more coffee, more life in the words of the very wise Drake. <laughs> also digging into these marzipan fruits, which my mum got for me, and they're my absolute favorite, so I'm incredibly excited. We just had a knock on the door. And my friend dropped a card and a little gift round. And this, the two is a little fallen soldier. We still haven't fixed it because it's fallen down a couple of times already. So I'm going to leave it there for now. So we have reached that section of the Friends Reunion where they play the quiz. We're going to attempt it together. Joey finds his identical hand twin. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you pay good money to see these identical hands showcased in some type of a uh, entertainment venue? Huh? If you leave now, I will chop off my hand and give it to you. <laughs> From this lineup. <gasps> they show the hands, the identical to the hands. Joey's hand twin. Number two, number two. Yeah, I'm also saying two. Two. Yeah, number two. Yes, that is correct! I was just matching the skin. Can you identify the voice? Matt, can you hit that button? Hit it, Matt. Hey, guys. I'm finally <gasps> David! ...and would love for all of you to come to my retirement party. There. David! Let me know if you can make it. Oh. Oh, my God! I'm 
Why am I saying David? Uh, yeah, why Monica's are you boyfriend. Saying David? It was her boy ex. Monica's I don't remember his wasn't name. Wasn't his though. name David? It's who I thought. I yeah. don't know his name. Yeah, I thought it was David. Uh, it's not David. Monica's ex. What was his name? How can I not remember this? Monica. Richard! Richard! Yeah. I can believe you've got. What did Chandler do for a living? Oh! He's a transpaster! <laughs> transponster! Transponster sounds good to me. I yes. guess transponster is not right. That's what, what I said. That's not even a word, and then we lost. Mm -hmm. right. Here's the answer, and it's. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Data. That was really. Analysis. Oh. Yeah, Trick question. They did say what his job was later on. In the they show. did. They did. But not, it wasn't memorable enough. So, following our lunch, we were a bit too full to go out for dinner. So, I'm going to snack on this instead. I bought this birthday cake protein bar. I know protein bars are far from healthy for you. However, I just. I couldn't resist the fact that I said birthday cake, I won't lie to you. And I have had this before and it's good. I won't lie. There, w there was a hesitation, not because it's bad, but um, because <laughs> I am aware that it's just a protein bar and a little cr uh, cold brew before we head on out. Good evening. So it's getting quite late now um, and we're going to head out for some drinks get in an uber any minute now and in all honesty i massively massively regret not going to thai tapas we decided to skip dinner because we were quite full from lunch but in all honesty i'm getting really really hungry now and i had some food and so i'm slightly disappointed by that but it's fine my makeup is also sitting terribly luckily the camera is not picking it up at all but um I didn't think I was really flaky, but I guess because of the tritinoin that I'm using, my my nose is really, really flaky <laughs> and my foundation has definitely stuck to it. And I thought in order to even it out, I would use some tinted moisturiser um, to try and conceal that and moisturise my skin a bit more. Didn't help. Regardless, we are going to head out now and... I'll take you along for the evening. So before we do head out, I thought I would quickly show you what I'm wearing. I don't think it's too exciting, but I feel comfortable in it. So I've got this um, really nice and other stories wrap dress and my Sandro leather jacket, which I have had for years. And I cannot recommend enough investing in a great leather jacket. I've got my hair going into my eye uh, we've got this beautiful philip lim bag and then also i've got to show you my gorgeous uh soru earrings and then this beautiful moonstone pendant from monica victor so i think we're ready to head on out